Thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank Greg for finally allowing me to speak tonight. So I'm grateful for that. Planning and implementation of public transport services must meet the needs of the community. Public consultation is the key to implementing and maintaining a network, and this must be uh, delivered with um, reliability and safety for the community. Train and bus services have to be integrated in a manner that suits commuters, and services should not be removed without proper consultation, to answer that gentleman's concern. Uh, without proper consultation with the community who have come to rely on for school and for work purposes. I personally had many feedback um, demanding the reinstatement of Doreen Bus 385 and obviously um, the Labor Party has recognised their error in removing that and other bus services because uh, they're going to reinstate it apparently, um, albeit going to a different location. But this is, you're correct in saying this was because of the moon to rail and it's simply not good enough. Train timetables must align and connect with buses. Reliability and connectivity is the key. And infrastructure upgrades to train lines in areas must meet the expectations promised to residents by the responsible authorities. These basic priorities have not been met under this government. Labor is not listening to the residents' concerns. Last night, I attended a meeting of concerned residents who raised serious issues about the unreliability of trains and no bus connections. The issues raised by residents in the area were given no solutions by the Transport Authority, and I was the only candidate attending. No one from government, um, the current government, even bothered to attend. So that's where I come in. I see my role as an elected member, as one who listens to the public. I pride myself on proper consultation with the community. I've done that all along as a local government councillor, and I do represent the community interests in determining all public transport needs. My position is not only that we need integrated bus services that connect rail and buses, but that these services actually run on time, every time. My commitment to you as the Liberal candidate for Yang Yi is that I will listen to the public and work to achieve the standards that are expected from our public transport system. I hope you can see from tonight uh, that the Liberals, uh, as Liberals, we are not only, uh, not only do we have a plan for the future for public transport in and around the region, but we have a team who see Yang Yi as important by their attendance tonight. And on that note, I'd like to thank Wendy Lovell, MP. Brad um, Hearn, um, who is the, oh, I've got to get this right. Brad, you can tell me who you are. Northern, Northern Victorian region. I oh, know I said that 10 times today, didn't I? And especially, of course, David Davis. Uh, one comment or a couple of comments I would like to make, and I'll be very brief, and that is keep in mind that Yan Yang Road and uh, the design of Yan Yang Road was designed 19 years ago. I know this because I met as a councillor with the architect. It was then decided that that was important. As far as the uh, John Creek Rail crossing widening that someone mentioned earlier, I was out with David Hodgett only a few uh, weeks ago who agreed with me that that crossing was ridiculous uh, from two lanes narrowing down to one line and then um, one lane and then opening up again. So I will certainly be advocating for that when I'm elected. Thank you.